I know Spaceman has to be going crazy right about now because uh, this is my first episode recording since he commented on the win over Arsenal in the Cup uh, with Lester. And he said, if you win the league, you ought to stick around one more year. Well, as you can see, I didn't do it. So I knew you were going to be a little disappointed. I hope not too disappointed. But uh, hey, here we are. So today we uh, kick off our new uh, new club, Club 4. Uh, we are in the Spanish First Division with Levante. Uh, again, just to recap, well, we'll talk about the recap uh, right after the intro. And then we have transfer news to wrap up. And then we'll, our first match of the season. And we kick off with some club named, I don't know, Real Madrid, something like that. I don't know. Probably nobody. Hey guys, RC here, back with Club 4, episode number one with Levante. And uh, as you saw last episode, we have switched teams. We won the treble with Leicester and resigned there at the end of the year. So we ended off on a great high note. I think we have left them in good standing. Uh, because the season is getting ready to kick off, we will hop over and take a look at them to see what moves they've done real quick, uh, and then we'll get into ours. So let me do that. Well, they are second in the league after two matches. They've won both of them, looks like by 1-0 margins. And if we look at transfers, wow. Okay, so let's see. <laughs> let's buckle in for this. All right, so they loan out Luke Rowe. They have sold Jordan Menz at a West Ham for $40 million. I actually went in. We actually scouted Leicester. I looked at a lot of players, and yeah, they wanted a lot of money for, for Menza. Uh, those were the kind of guys, um, you know, Menza, Rowe uh, were some of the guys. I really, really wanted Romain, but couldn't, couldn't afford him. Uh, let's see, $3 million for Javier Gonzalez. 21-year-old Spanish goalkeeper. How much did I buy him for? We got him on a free, and they sell him for $3 million. That's not a bad bit of business, I don't suppose. Menza. We paid twenty and a half. and a half. We, we get 40 That's not a bad return on investment. You know, got to follow that ROI, you know. Um, Kukelis goes off on loan again. Christian is sold to Millwall for five and a quarter. So he's and he's only 20. We picked him up on a free. He was out on loan for a couple of years. Didn't didn't play badly. I mean, seven goals. So he is off to Millwall in the championship for five and a quarter. Juan Pedro Suarez goes off to Livorno for 5.75. He is a 6'2 center back. I thought he was going to be pretty decent. We got him on a free from Huelva, maybe. Uh, had him out on loan, and now they have sold him on for a nice, tidy sum. Ayari goes out on loan. Uh, yeah, he gets a lot of loan, guys. Chipperell. Chiapella goes out on loan again. Christian Freemu goes off for 375. Esser's out, Esser's out on loan. Wow. Falsatini's back out on loan. And Marrera, our goalkeeper's out on loan. So a couple of names, but most of the squad looks to be intact. That's not what I wanted to look at. That's my team. Uh, tactic, senior squad. All right, so Cesar, Mark. Baffer. Oh, Romain's been relegated to the bench. Oh, this guy better be awesome as hell. 29, he is. Oh, that's uh that's kind of graphic. They should have put up a adult, you know, plus 18 label with that. Uh Felipe Jasufi Mullen. Mullen's new. Hildon Fowler, Pascarello. In in he new. Yeah, they paid 32 and a half for him from Bristol City. Okay. So who was our other left back? I forget. Kellis, no. Wheel. McNeil, Wheel. 
Yeah, we were pretty weak over there. So anyway, a few decent looking moves. All right, if we look at uh, club info. So again, just to recap why I took this club. If you take a look, uh, they've basically been a, a division two for a second division side uh, most of the last 20 years. Uh, they have yo-yoed back and forth the last four years, uh, just gaining promotion this year, uh, or just staying up this year uh, in 16th place. But that's the highest finish they've ever had. So uh, I thought this would be a really good appearance uh, you know, for a Bielsa move. Uh, Real Madrid, who we open up with today, <coughs> They've only won it five of the last six years. Barcelona's in there. Athletic, Atletico, Bilbao, Barcelona, and then back to Real Madrid. So, yeah, you know, it's it's uh, third toughest league in the world right now behind the Premier and the Bundesliga. So I really wanted to go into League One uh, in, in France just to try to challenge PSV, but never get – PSV offered me a job interview, you, you may recall. All right, and I believe last time that we saw anything here was July 3rd, and we hadn't made any moves at that point. So here's what's going on. So we've moved out to Guillermo Ferriol for 115000 and we'll take a look at these guys because, you know, even though you, you'll never see them now, but uh, he was just pretty far down the pecking order, 21 years old, just didn't think he was ever going to develop into anybody that would play for us. And Bielsa did this his first year at Leeds. He he you know he got rid of quite a few guys that had been around the club uh, for a long while, and just he decided they weren't going to break cut in. George Romero, we move on to Huelva for one point two, going up to one point seven. Uh, he is a defender, nineteen years old. Again, not very good. Uh, three star potential. So we moved him off. Uh, very good tackling. I, I think he could have probably done a job for us, but you know the ability to get some money for him uh, superseded that since he wasn't going to play very much. Uh, Gaetan Peltier <coughs> goes to Ipswich for three point eight million. He's a right winger, thirty uh, one year old Frenchman. Uh, this was a move for money. Also, he wasn't start, starting 11, and he was 31. So being over 30, not being in the first team plans, very good, well-rounded when you look at his ratings. But uh, he goes off uh, after only making 15 appearances for Levante uh, in his time here. Mario Diaz is out on loan. Jose Carlos goes off for 450000 uh, he is another right winger, 22 years old, was a fringe player. Domingo Ruz goes off for 350 to Cozinga's. Uh, did I pronounce that right? Cosenza. Cosenza. Uh, central mid, very good first touch and passing. Those are usually ratings that I really value, but uh, only three star potential, and he's almost maxed out. Wasn't in the starting, wasn't even in the rotation, really. So we move him on and we loan out Thomas Fazekas uh, coming in on a free, Tobias Adamot. Uh, he comes in on a free. He's a striker and a right winger. Uh, very good pace, three and a half star potential, good off the ball movement. Uh, decision making is above average, technique. Work rate's okay, stamina's re really good, and um, he came up through the Rostock system and was uh, was available, so we picked him up for some depth. We also get uh, Patrick Na Nasdik Ness, uh, and, and it's funny, I don't know how to pronounce that little B there, but when you click on him, it says Nass, and I think it's Ness, but it might be Nass, but he's a 22-year-old German, uh, right, right winger, attacking winger, and central mid. Four star potential, three star current. Only 22 years old, so he definitely this guy would fit into our play the kids uh, philosophy. Uh, but he played 58 matches for Mainz, uh, three goals there. So we're hoping to get something out of him. He's a good crosser of the ball, so I think he could fit in in a couple of spots. And you can see he's played pretty well. Two starts, two off-the-bench appearances. Uh, we also brought in Maxim Buniak on a free from Varzim. He's a left back. Uh, probably won't play center back. His heading's a little weak. But uh, he can, you know, 
He won't kill anybody crossing the ball. Marking, tackling are okay. He's got pace. Uh, so, you know, he'll be depth. He's 18 years old. No great shakes here. Uh, Stefan Perna from Guancamp, six and a half million, seven and a quarter. I think after 50 games is typically what I'm paying. Uh, he is our big signing of the season, and he is a goalkeeper, 22 year old Frenchman, three star current, only three and a half star potential, but he looks really, really good. So he's going to be in the mix. He has started four friendlies for us since joining the side. And Thomas Fazekas, who we loaned out, we paid $2.4 million for him. Uh, so again, we've already kind of looked at him, but uh, we're going to loan him out, see if they can't help him get a little bit better. And, uh, oh, I know what it was. No, no, no. It, it was a loan back to the end of the season. I didn't want to do that, but I wouldn't have paid that much money, but I missed it. That was on me. All right, so we are opening up against Real Madrid today. Let's take a look at the league preview. And we are picked to finish 15th, so not in the relegation, but very, very long shots for a top-half finish. Uh, that would be Vigo at 50-1 to 1 for 10th position. Our top player, according to this... Oh, I forget. It's not blue. <laughs> I have to... I actually have to look at the name. Oh, it is in blue. Okay, cool. So we have uh, Zabols Kovac, Hungarian center back. And yes, he does look pretty good. 20 jumping reach, six foot four. Guess who we've got on the near post on set pieces? <laughs> yes, that would be correct. And uh, Brian Ibanez also, uh, he is a left winger and striker. Pretty talented. Seven starts, five goals, four assists. Playing pretty well. So those are our top guys. Oh, I'm not expecting much, but we'll see. Three at the back. All right, so here is our starting lineup. We're going to go with Pernan making his debut in goal. Navarro on the left back. Guerrero will start at right back. Not our normal starter there, but we do have a fitness concern with Garay. Uh, Fernandez and Kovac. In the center back positions, Santine and Martinez, these are going to be in flux. I'm trying to figure out who I, you know, where we're going to be best up here. But right now, it's going to be a midfield partnership of Santine and Martinez, uh, attacking third of Garcia, Enrique, and Ibanez with Gonzalez up top. What can go wrong, right? It's just Real Madrid. And as I normally do, we will give the encouragement. Real Madrid's in the white. We're in the red and blue. Looks like we're wearing Barcelona colors, doesn't it? <laughs> All right. Well, Enrique just gets run off the ball, and oh, that's not a good debut shot for Hernan as he lets that one in, and we are uh, down 1-0 inside of two minutes. That was not great. Enrique got blown off the ball. Santin got blown off the ball. Fernandez didn't cut the angle as Portillo ran him off at an angle, which was a good job by him. Ow. Yeah, I, I, I just don't know how this season's going to go. It's not going to go as well as last season. All right, that one's headed clear, but they are right back on it. And, oh, there's a shot off the woodwork. We got very lucky there. And we probably should get destroyed in this match. I'm hoping we don't, but you never know. Oh, oh come on. I thought we were going to be able to pick a pass there. But we couldn't. All right, there's Ibanez. He gets knocked away by Budacrit. Enrique. All right, there's a little chest down. Squared into Santine. Can we do anything? Oh, there was a nice little through ball looking for Ibanez. Nothing comes of it. Good deflection by Enrique. Taps it in. Oh, and he misses it. Oh, we need to do better. Let's demand more. Uh, we're going to come off of attacking and drop back to positive. All right, there's Gonzalez holding it up. 
Enrique makes a run. Martinez. Oh, looks like uh, he thought Ricargo was uh, his strike partner. He's like, all the highlight films from RC that I watched, he had two strikers. I thought I had somebody up here helping me out. Back post, and it goes off the woodwork. And a deflection on the clearance off of one of their own players could have been an own goal. And we got very unlucky there. Come on, fellas. You know, the rating rating wise doesn't look horrible. Oh, Gonzalez picks his pocket. He's on a break and he puts it right into the keeper's belly. Oh, that was not good. All right, there's Ivanez squaring it over to Martinez. Come on. There's a show, oh, a good tackle by Furtado. He laid down to make that block. Could have done a little better there. You know what? I am gonna do. I'm gonna do something here. All right, we're gonna we're gonna take off work into box, and I'm gonna take off run at defense as well, because we don't have the talent. I don't think. There's a crack, and Dae puts it over the bar for a corner. All right, now we like corners. We've got a very good player at the near post, and it's in. It's Kovac, and his first goal of the season comes on the set piece, and the big man comes up from his center back position and scores to equalize us. It's Levante 1, Real Madrid 1. Oh, beautiful goal. We will take that all day long. I would be ecstatic if we could get a draw out of this. And if we could win, I would be outright tickled pink. Just like our kit color. <laughs> All right, come on. No, that wasn't good. Fernandez gets turned around. Hugo's on the break. All right, Kovac comes in and makes the stop. Wow, getting a lot of... Junk tweets this morning. Already. It's only 8.20. All right, let's encourage them, because they are playing well. That was a little late for that. All right, uh, let's go outstretched arms. I'm happy with your performance so far. Good deal. Let's encourage them again here at the start of the second half. All right, the first highlight is Real Madrid playing it out from the back. Guerrero runs that down, plays it back to Pernan. We've got a lot of room right there to operate. Oh, that was... Using one of my favorite words, that was optimistic. <laughs> okay, there's a good defensive header. Enrique... Plays it through. Gonzalez. Oh, and he's just a little slow on the shot. And again, allows that defender to do a slide and knock it away. Near post. No, this one's headed away, and they've got a counter opportunity. And they've got runners coming from everywhere. Out to Budacrit. Get on him, Navarro. Don't just stand there. Good defense. All right, I, I'm not sure what that was, but okay. It got it out of danger. I guess we'll go with that. I was hoping for a second goal there, but uh, on that set piece. All right, let's take a look here. All right, let's bring on Garay. Yeah, let's bring Garay on for... Can he play? Hold on. He can play left. Let's bring him on for Navarro. He's nervous and he's on a yellow. So let's do that. Uh, Ibanez and Enrique. Enrique's playing well, but let's bring off Ibanez for, for Nass. Let's do that for right now. Let's encourage him again. All right, Nand Nanzik Nass. I'm just going to call him Nass because the hyphenated name is going to give me nightmares, I'm afraid. 
All right, crossed in, good header out. Nass is on to it, so there's a, his first highlight. Can he pick a pass? Oh, he's all the way into the box. He takes a crack and forces the save, and we'll pull another corner out of that. Kovac near post. He goes up for it, but can't get there quite. Martinez. Oh, Gonzalez turned his back on that. That was not, not good. Perez is using the official to screen our defender. Yes, that was a good play, but you know the official needs to realize he is not the twelfth man for Real Madrid and get the hell out of the way. All right. Uh, let's see. Striker. Gonzalez. Garcia's not playing well. Let's bring let's bring Mecca on out there. That'll be our last sub here. And let's go ahead and give him some praise. All right, Pernan controls it. There's Garay. He was only good for about 60 minutes here. There's Enrique. Oh, it's squared in. Gonzalez puts it in. His first goal of the season. Enrique with the assist out of the number 10 position. And our fans have gone crazy. It's Levante 2, Real Madrid 1. Can you believe it? 10 minutes to play. All right, let's, let's dive into the tactic here. Uh, let's see. I want, yeah, slow the pace down. That's what we'll do. That way we just kind of hold on to it. Eight minutes, seven minutes. I'm watching the clock. A tight thigh for Gonzalez. It's our highlight. Five minutes of stoppage time. Enrique's on the ball. To Nass. A oh, one-two, and it's Guerrero! And he puts in his first goal of the season, Gonzalez with the assist, and we are up 3-1 to one over Real Madrid. Oh my goodness, let's go to Cautious and just see the clock out. Five minutes of stoppage time. What a first game of the season, and it sees us go top of the Spanish First Division. Certainly not expecting us to end up there. Not expecting us to end up there, but by God, what a match to kick things off at our new club. And Real Madrid's in the relegation. Gotta like that. That is huge. Uh, ooh, who's this guy? 20-year-old Algerian. Well, let's go ahead and scout him. He's a center back. He looks pretty solid. Oh, look at the look at the jumping reach and heading. Could you imagine him partnering up with Kovac on our back line. Ooh, that makes me just kind of tingle a little bit. Levante go top of the first division. Gonzalez out for just one to two days with the tight thigh. Pernan makes his debut. Rough start, but he was solid down the stretch there. And Nass also made his debut as well. Very, very good. Oh, I want it. There's the uh, there's the look at the friendlies. Uh, Gijon was the uh, the one draw that we had. Everything else, uh, we even beat Leeds United three to one. So that was interesting. Gonzalez, uh, Ibanez. A lot of these we were playing the four four two. So, in fact, it was the four four two that four two four that I played. So maybe we go back to that. Although I can't really fault that. Where do we want to come back? Why don't we come back real, you know, we'll, new club, new league, a lot of new players. So how many, how many games do we play here? 38 games. Okay, so that's, that's Premier League. I just really hate the 46 in the championship. Ooh, there we go. Champions League, Euro Cup. All right, so seventh or higher. That's what I'd like to target, but that's, that's going to be tough. I mean, that's going to be tough. I, I think this year I would be happy with somewhere probably 12th or higher. That's several places above our projected finish. But, um, yeah, anyway. So let's come back pretty quickly. Let's come back for uh, Vigo and Laganas uh, or Lagans. Uh, 
I guess some of these I'll have to figure out pronunciations unless you unless I just don't botch them bad enough for you guys to care very much. Uh, but anyway, uh, Spaceman, I hope you're okay with the new club, and uh, I hope you didn't unsubscribe for that. <laughs> I don't think you would. But uh, hey, big big win. That's that's probably bigger than any first season win we've ever had in FM twenty one. I would put it right there. Right? I mean. Yeah, nothing wrong with that, especially beating the defending champions. So we'll do that. We'll play a couple more matches. We'll be back for Vigo Highlights next episode, and then we'll play Legans on camera. Villarreal, isn't that the club that I used to, I managed? Facilities. Yes, the Ceramic Stadium. Uh, I, I, I forget them. I, FM 19, I think that was. I think it was 19 that I was at Villarreal. All right, guys, hit that like button. Subscribe to stay up to date for daily Football Manager content. And we'll see you next episode.